Welcome back to DeFi, DGEN's Drip and Farm for Poverty, where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. If you like the mission, you resonate with the vision, and you find this content useful, please subscribe and leave a comment and a thumbs up. Hey guys, welcome back. DeFi, DJ and Strip, and Farm for Poverty. So I'm not sure what I'm going to call this video, but it's something in regards to um, the truth about passive income or um, what passive income really takes to get passive income. Uh, because um, I had a video previously where I talked a little bit about passive income and I kind of wanted to just follow that up because um, you see all these um, claims and videos and stuff talking about you know, earn X number of dollars per day and do this, that and the other. And um, yeah, while that may happen and they may be indeed actually making that money, like in my other video, I showed that um, uh, that uh, it's it's subjective what that amount is, especially if it's in crypto and you haven't claimed it. But what I want to talk about in this one is uh, what it actually takes um, to get passive income, because everybody has this vision of grandeur of this. Uh, money tree that just pays you every day and you don't have to do anything for it and you're um, you wake up and more money is there right but what did it take to actually get there I had that other video about the Chinese bamboo tree and I feel like that's kind of the truth behind passive income but let's first look at the uh, definition for passive income according to Investopedia Passive income is earnings derived from a rental limited partnership or other enterprise in which a person is not actively involved that's a key phrase right there. I didn't even know that. It's not actively involved. As with active income, passive income is usually taxable, but is often treated differently by the Internal Revenue Service. All right. So that right there kind of tells me what all you need to know. It's not actively involved. If you want to get money from DeFi <laughs> or from any other part of your crypto investments, you have to be active up front and or at least every day come in here and hit this claim button. You hit this claim button and then you go and go into your MetaMask or your trust wallet and then you hit send to send to your uh, exchange or peer to peer. Then you transfer it and you get it into your fiat unless you're actually doing everything in crypto, but you still got to send it from drip to a virtual uh, credit card or something like that. So it is getting less steps. So I'll give you that. But that's not um that still is active by definition in my opinion it means you're still doing something you're granted you're not doing a lot at that stage but it still requires doing something and what i wanted to bring up is uh the amount of work that i had to do just to get to where i am now and i still haven't claimed anything or made any actual profit so i can't say that this is passive income this uh well it's, it's more than this per day because i don't actually have it to live off of <laughs> this is hypothetical income, <laughs> hypothetical passive income. But I wanted to bring this up. So I've made 165 videos. Um, I don't know how many hours this is, but my account, I created my account February 8th. And I brought this up. February 8th to today is 75 days. So I've made 2.2 videos on average per day in drip. That's just making the videos and then talking, obviously, right? So that's not passive that requires doing work but obviously a lot of people out there in crypto aren't making videos but the point i'm getting at in order for me to even get to the the part about making videos and making the content is i had to do a ass ton of research on the project not only on this project but i had to do a ton of research prior just to be able to understand crypto so all of you that are watching this channel if you even understand the term DeFi. <laughs> then you're already you've already done a lot of work that was active research and understanding um, what this space actually means I don't know how many people I've tried to introduce drip to and I have to start like from the beginning like crypto blockchain um, decentralized uh, finances uh, smart contracts like all of these things if you're able to get in here and stake excuse me or you at least understand drip when you're sitting on the sidelines just watching 
dude, look, I mean, I don't even know how, how many hours of research and content you had to consume to understand this. There is a bulk of people that understand it. So that is not passive. You put in the legwork to get to this stage. And for me, um, it's, I don't know how many hours, I tried to do the math, but on average, when I looked at my YouTube stats, which I can only see on my phone, I watch on average 26 hours a week of YouTube content. And that's not cat videos. <laughs> that is all crypto and DeFi. So that's just 26 hours. Now, that's 26 hours that I spend on the platform. I watch my videos in two and a half to three and a half X. So the amount of time I actually spend or amount of uh, research hours that I watch um, is anywhere from two and a half to three and a half that. So we'll round that down to 20 and say that I do two and a half, 50 on the low end, 50 hours of content that I consume on a weekly basis. That's somebody's full-time job. That's literally 50 hours in a week that I consume content because seven days a week. Um, just to understand, and this has only been on drip. That didn't even count the hours <laughs> that I spent before to understand the, um, the space that drip is in. Like I said, when you move up, you know, drip, smart contracts, DeFi, uh, b uh, crypto, blockchain, like all of that stuff was required to get to this level here. So there's been thousands of hours of research that has gone into this, not to count now making videos, it, it kind of adds more to that. But the point I'm getting at is um, whenever you have this idea of passive income and this vision or whatever that is, that's fine. But realize that you got to put in the work. And that's why I am only now like focusing on drip. And that's why I stay bullish on it, even though it's been in this downtrend and it sucks and I'm not happy about it. Um, but the amount of work I had to put in to believe in a project and and have that hopium that it's going to be here long term. Um, that's why it does, there's no way to actually have that same amount of research on um, multiple projects. So usually when you see people, you know, shilling other projects and all that stuff, you're really just gambling. Because if you said you did your own research, um, it, it constitutes watching one or two YouTube videos, right? Like that is not research. That's picking up a lottery ticket. That's, <laughs> that's buying a scratch ticket. That's going down to the roulette table and going, uh, put it all on black. Like, yeah, you can do that, but don't fool yourself and say that you're doing your research when you go into a project um, unless you've done hours and hours of research and you have a understanding, in-depth understanding, I said this in another video, that you can explain it to someone else and either justify your stance for getting in it or getting out of it. And that is what I feel is the amount of research and work needed to create passive income. It doesn't just happen uh, by luck. Yes, you can get lucky in crypto and you can find the next moonshot and you can get in on first on a uh, platform or something like that or a new dApp, um, but that's luck. Again, you might as well buy a freaking scratch off. You might as well play the lottery. It's the same thing. You're not, don't fool yourself into thinking that all of the uh, projects are going to do that. You got lucky and you can get lucky more than once. But as they say in um, the casino world, the house always wins. So unless you do your research and get into something that you can bet on and you understand, and like I mentioned in another video, one of the most overlooked things, in my opinion, in the crypto is community. Yes, you want a coin that has utility, but community will outweigh utility. I'll, I'll, I'll put all my money where my mouth is on that, like 100 times to one. Um, community, community, community. That is what will drive a project. That's what determines um, why we use freaking US dollars or yuan or real. It's because the community, the government, strengthens it and tells us that they're, it's going to be there and it's worth something. It's the people. We have decided to use this. If we all decide tomorrow to use Bitcoin, the governments are going to be upset. If we decided to trade within ourselves with Bitcoin and just screwed the governments, the community decided that. So, um, that's my number one thing. And the community behind Drip is, for the most part, very bullish. <laughs> and it's, it is that way because of the amount of people that have made massive gains. This is the lowest it's been since uh, December. So um, everybody prior to December, so a good eight months of hopium of people getting in, however many that was, the Mongob showed that before, but a good, you know, 30 to 40,000 people, they're extremely bullish on drip and um and even the ones that got in all the way to up here 
are extremely bullish on drips. That's like 60,000 people. It's only the ones here <laughs> that are questioning their, their loyalty and the, the faith of the contract. Because even if you got in here and you were dollar cost averaging or um, uh, cl uh, hydrating every day, you should have still seen profits uh, by some stage. But anyway, um, I'm segueing. The point of this video is that passive income is not truly passive. You got to do a lot of work to get it there. And um, don't fool yourself or watch other YouTube videos and think that you're just going to be able to get lucky. Um, buckle in for the long term. It's technically short term. If you look at this financial freedom that you can achieve in less than, let's say, three to five years um, and whatever amount of research you have to do, if that means you got to put in 50 hours worth of work to say you'll, you will not work a day in your life, um, after five years from now, so that's 50 hour work weeks for the next six months to understand one project, uh, I think that's worth it. And if that one project is something like Drip where you can take a $100 investment and change your life in three years, yeah, then that was worth that uh, passive income. So I just wanted to shed some light on that. I hope that uh, resonates with some of you guys. Uh, hit the like, you know, all that good stuff. If not, no worries, it's just me ranting. Um, trying to find a little hopium in all of this, remaining bullish through through the hard times. Um, this is actually good, seeing Drip just kind of bounce around here now for almost a month. Um, hell, it might be a month. Let's see, where was, uh, uh, not yet. So it's, just, it's about a month. With the 24th of March, it was at 42. So whenever it gets down around 35, which is the 1st of April, um, a month bouncing around sideways, that means you just got 30% if you were hydrating every day. Um, you can't get those kind of returns in a yearly investment. So that's not bad. So I do believe this is the floor. This is again, segueing into something else, but um, this, this kind of stuff, doing research helps you understand what you're seeing here and not go, oh, this sucks. It's your investment is still growing 1% daily compound interest. And this, all this sell pressure has not broken the $30 floor and drip is now one year old. And at some stage, the animal farm will come unpaused. <laughs> and at some stage, the piggy bank will come unpaused and Forex will go back to developing. And you know, somewhere down here, uh, things will be looking better. So if you just hold on for those days, then I think everything will be all right. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible.